Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create, embed, and go live with the Viator widget in just a few minutes. If you don't know what a widget is already, they are a piece of HTML code that you embed on your website that pulls in tours and activities directly from Viator. Viator widgets are a quick and easy way to merchandise our tours and activities on your site while earning commission for every product booked. To build a widget, you'll use the widget builder that can be found in the tools section of your account on the widgets tab. On the left, you'll see all the options you have to customize your widget, and on the right, you'll see a preview of what the widget will look like. It's up to you what products you want on your widget, but no matter what products you feature, all widgets will include product photo, title, review rating, and count, as well as price. You have a few options of what you can feature in your widget. You can feature a destination or attraction. You can search for it directly in the widget builder. In this case, I'll search for Mexico City. And with this, it pulls in the top products for that destination or attraction. You can also feature a category, but you won't be able to search for it in the widget builder like you would a destination or attraction. But if you hop over to Viator.com, go to the page of the category you want to choose, in this case, street food tours, and then you copy and paste that URL right into the widget builder, it will update accordingly. If you want more control over the products featured, you can select tour or activity name, and you can add up to 30 products of your choosing. You can search for products like you would a destination or attraction, or you can go to buytour.com and take the URLs of the products you want and paste them here. In this example, I'm going to stick to a category because I'm working on a blog post about street food tours in Mexico City. So next I'll choose the amount of products I want to feature. I can choose up to 30, I'll leave it 3. Then you can choose your language and currency, which I will leave at English and USD. And lastly, you'll add your tracking parameters. And although this is optional, we highly recommend that you always put tracking parameters on your widgets, links, and banners. These tracking parameters will carry through to your reporting that you can find in your account dashboard here. Without them, all your traffic will be labeled as no campaign traffic, which is not very helpful when it comes time to analyzing your performance. So once the widget is the way I want it to be, the last step I have to do is copy the code and paste it directly on my site. So here's my WordPress blog post about Mexico City. My WordPress site is built using a Divi theme that comes with a visual builder as you can see here. You can make changes on the live site. If you don't have a theme, stick around and I'll show you how to install the widget using WordPress's default editor. So using this visual builder, I'll scroll down to where I want to add my widget and I'm going to add a new code module. In this code module, I'm going to take the code from the widget builder and I'm going to paste it directly into this section. And then I'm going to hit save and then I'll exit the visual builder so that I can see what the widget looks like on the live site because right now you can't see it. If you're not using a theme, or if you're using WordPress's default editor, the process is just as simple, but there's just one more step. So I'll scroll down to where I want my widget to appear, and I'm going to add a code module or a code block. And if you don't see it here, you can always search for it. That one extra step is to make sure that I change the code block type to custom HTML. And then from here, the process is the same. I'll go back to my widget builder, I'll copy the code, and I'll paste it right into this section. I'm going to hit update, and then I'm going to preview so that I can see what it looks like on the live site. And there it is. So if I click this, it should go to the historic center food tour, and it does. So I know my widget is working correctly, it's displaying correctly, and I know that I'm ready to start earning commission.